Does anybody else just love shopping at Target and you're having the best experience ever and you've spent all the money that's in your bank account and then you get to the front and they're like, do you want a Target red card? And you're like, I'm not a huge shopper, but every time I go to the mall, there is always a person that is trying to sell me a flat iron or some skincare products or, or something like that. And I am the worst person for them to try to sell stuff to, meaning for them, I'm the best person. I don't lie very well. And in my heart, in my brain, no one else lies. I just, I want to find the good in every person. And that might seem a little extreme for this topic, but if someone says, oh, we've got this skincare, it is the best skincare you'll ever find. I instantly think, well, if it's the best. <laughs> and typically I know that I won't be able to stand there, you know, and, and, and hear the whole pitch and, and spend, you know, 80, 100, $200 on whatever the product is that they have just, you know, sporadically like that. But I don't feel like it's okay to just like walk away. I really have a hard time walking past somebody that is doing their job, that's working so hard to try to sell me stuff. Like in my brain, I'm thinking they might have kids they need to feed. I can't just walk past them. Like that's so rude. So I'm like walking past and I'm always the person that's like walking and it's like, I'm so sorry, I've got to go. You see my mom, she needs me to come home and make dinner. And after I do, I've got a studio session and I'm a singer. You want to let me at Jamie Grace? You want to keep in touch at Jamie Grace Ace on Twitter? I legitimately struggle with just walking by and saying no thank you because to me, I could just be saying no thank you because I'm a jerk, so I need them to know every little detail as to why, yeah, it's, it's sad. I think I'm living with some deeply rooted people pleasing issues. <laughs> the biggest one lately has been this Target red card. Now, I don't know if you guys know anything about the Target red card. I don't really even know how to explain it. Something about 5% and free shipping. I have no idea. If Mr. Target wants me to check it out, he can give me a call on my cellular device. Um, but I really don't know much about this whole Target red card situation. But I do know that my Target experience is pretty much the same every single time I go. Actually, my Target and Walmart experiences are twinsies, except Walmart doesn't have a Walmart blue card with a little yellow smiley face guy. Wait, did they get rid of that smiley face guy? I really don't remember. So typically I go into Target and I usually just need a case of water <laughs> and makeup wipes. Those are the two culprits. Except instead of just walking in and turning left and going straight to the water and the makeup wipes, I just walk straight and I'm like, oh, I'll just walk past the shirts. I'll just see what, see what they have. That's how this sweater happened. I just walk by and then I look at the clothes and I'm like, oh, I have to have it. And then I keep walking, keep walking. And then I make a left and it's all the dudes clothes. And I'm like super, super single. So that's not a weakness for me because I don't have anybody to buy clothes for. And then I keep walking, keep walking. And then before I know it, I'm at the baby stuff. Now I have a goddaughter and there are also some really cute kids my church and I have a lot of cute cousins, but I can usually not buy baby stuff. I can usually do a good job at like passing that, but the, oh, the electronics. Every time I walk past those electronics, I'm like, but what about a new movie? And then sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go see if they still have a Jamie Gray CD. And then I'm like, I'm gonna look at the video games. I don't even play video games. I have like a little Nintendo DS to know. Does anybody wanna buy my Nintendo DS? By the way, I have a hot pink or light pink Nintendo 3DS that I don't play. That's for sale, I don't know where you'll get it. So I walk through the electronics and I usually end up getting something from there too, which is so frustrating. Then while well, we have like the luggage and the sports stuff, exercise equipment, um, that's not a weakness for me. Make another left, I'm walking by all the hard, I should not know this by heart. Walking by all of the hardware and all of the home stuff, all the fixed stuff. And then you've got all your sports team stuff right there. If it's a super target, you're coming up on the food and all the house stuff is gonna be a little bit further on your left. House stuff isn't usually a weakness for me unless I'm getting something from my mom, like that crafty section in the house section. I usually do have a weakness there because I'll get something from my mom. But right on the right, the food section, yeah. I end up with everything I could possibly eat and then I make another left. I'm all of a sudden passing all of the, what is it? What is that word? Not cosmetics. What's the word body wash? I cannot think of what the word is. But I'm passing by all of that, and of course I see a sign that's like, best toothbrush in 20 years. And I, I mean, if it's the best toothbrush in 20 years, I have to buy it. So I'll throw that in my car. They always have the vitamins on little end cap, and they're now like gummy vitamins, and that's very appealing to me. So I'll have to get some new vitamins. Crafty stuff's on the left, just want my mom a clipboard a couple weeks ago. Makeup's on the right, have to get a new plum color from Revlon or L'Oreal. Then before I know it, I am at the front of, the store with a bunch of stuff in my cart. Now I will say that I 
don't actually have like a shopaholic kind of problem. This just kind of happens on occasion <laughs> when I go to Target. A lot of times when I go to any store, I don't let myself, I don't let, I don't let myself get a cart or even a basket. And my rule is once my hands are full, I have to check out. So that's what I do most of the time. But occasionally this Target thing will happen. So when I go up to the front and I check out and they tell me my total and then they're like, have you tried a Target red cart? It literally feels like they freeze that long while they're staring at me. And these are the 15 different responses that I shuffle through in my brain. My sister has one and she loves it. I'm sorry, I haven't looked into it yet. I have to ask my parents. I have to ask my mom. Oh, I really need to ask my dad. Oh, I have the brochure. I just keep forgetting to like look at it because every time I wanna look at it, I'm like traveling. I'm a musician and my, have you heard of Jamie? Oh, I totally have the brochure. I just keep forgetting to like look, actually look into it, but I'm, I'm going to when I get home. Thank you so much. Yeah, it sounds like a great deal and you're an amazing saleswoman and I'm so proud of you. You're doing such a good job at your job. I just don't personally, right now, I'm just not interested. No, thank you. Maybe someday. You are such a great saleswoman. Um, I think I'll pass. Wait, free online shipping? Free online shipping? That's, that's awesome. That's really cool. I've definitely considered it before. I didn't bring a blank check with me today. I have to go to the bathroom. It's so awkward, cause like I don't know what to say and I don't want to be rude. I just don't want to target red car. And it's not that I think it's a bad idea. I just haven't looked into it yet because I legitimately keep forgetting to look into it. And every time I'm like, oh, I'm going to look into the target red card. I'm like, I could look into the target red card or I could write a new song and I could totally just work on it. Or I could look into the target red card or I could just take a nap. And it's like, somehow you never think to look at the target red card when you're at home. But the second you're in that line, you're like, oh man, I forgot to look up the target red card and find out the reason why I actually don't want one. But you don't want to be mean to the sweet lady that's just trying to do her job and just trying to encourage you to get a target red card. And also I don't really like the color red that much. I'd rather everything be pink. And they've got that little dog that's on the promotions and I just don't think that dog is that cute. And it's not that I don't like the dog. I just like personally, I just, everybody, everybody likes different kinds of dogs. The moral of the story is I am just really, 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 really bad at saying no when it comes to people trying to sell me stuff. I always feel like I have to give them some answer as to why I'm not gonna buy it or why it's not gonna be a part of my life. And especially when they're really, really, really good at selling you the product, then you start getting stressed out because you're like, maybe I actually do need this when you really don't know if you need it or not. So today's video does not have some deeply rooted like theological message or encouraging message. But I do wanna know, is there a store like Target where they're always trying to get you to get the red card or, or a rewards card for, for another store? Or do you work at one of these stores where you're trying to encourage people to get the rewards card or the debit card or the whatever kind of card it is and what drives you crazy when people respond. I know that I'm all about rewards cards. Kroger is my life and I have a Kroger Plus card, if you don't know what that is, it's a grocery store and I save like $10 on groceries every time I go. I'm huge about saving money, especially when it comes to saving money on food. So I love a good rewards card. I just don't feel like the Target Red card is a rewards card and I just don't have time to Google it and see if it is a rewards card. So what are your thoughts on these rewards cards and these red cards and Walmart's blue card, if that is a thing? Leave your answers in the comments below and I am going to go and respond to you guys. But until then, I hope you had a great weekend. Hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you in like seven days. Love you much, miss you already, bye.